Candle. What are you expecting, someone? Is that any business of yours? No, no, no. So, you know, I'm very hurt that you don't answer my letters. Calcutta Station, Post Office Box oh, 83. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you are, Goody. You know, every time you're angry, you plunge the neighborhood in the darkness. <laughs> What's she doing? I think she's afraid of the dark. Bastard. Dirty. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, Harold, you know, one day I'm going to make you eat yeah. your heart. Now get in the taxi. <laughs> Did you say a Calcutta station box 83? to see that the West is still on its feet. Christ. 
I know you. No, my friend. I don't think that is possible because I am not here. And uh, you are not there. And we do not exist. And so I can go to sleep. Oh. Oh. Uh, may I may I ask why you are hitting me? Because unfortunately, the fact that we don't exist does not exempt us from pain. Uh -huh. Two years ago you came to India. What have you accomplished since? Well, I've built a road and a bridge and some hospitals. A builder! Hmm. The great white civilizer who's brought his precious energies to India. Grand bully for you. But tell me, in a century's time, what will remain of your achievements? A uh, school, uh, a big road. Oh, is that so? Uh, airport and... Um... Alas! Come on, wake up, boy! Listen to this one, Noreen. He threw it to me out of a taxi. Another letter? It's still no miracle. And yet they told me that in Calcutta I would find the man of my life. You're blind, Gertie. Alan writes you three letters a day. That means he's in love with you. Or that he's crazy. Listen. You know, I spent some time in Shanghai and I did a stint in Canton and drifted down to Nanking, but it's all bloody dangerous out there. Barbed wire is drifting down over the cities like a plague of locusts. You can smell the war coming. But there is always Calcutta. <laughs> Calcutta? A magnet. Biggest bustling magnet in the entire bloody galaxy. Can you wait till you see our bathroom? Okay, upstairs. <laughs> And do you think Alan is a lost man? At first sight, no. But something tells me he's pretty clever at hiding it. He must be kind of schizophrenic. Schizo what? Schizophrenic. Screwball. Nuts. Ah, okay. I want you to meet a very old, excuse me, friend. This is Lucien Metz. He's just arrived from Shanghai and uh, he's going to stay here for a bit till he gets himself fixed in Calcutta. Goody, what on earth are you doing there? Why are you sending me all these letters? <laughs> well, what letters? I, I don't send letters, Goody. I think your letters are very beautiful, but we don't understand them. Goody would like you to explain them to us. Uh, okay, um... You let Noreen read my letters, eh? Of course, do you mind? I think, I think maybe you could have asked, yeah? Yes, I could have. Uh, which one's the girlfriend? <laughs> uh, complicated, Lucien. I'll explain some other time. 